Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading for December 2022. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. We're going to look at you and the person you're currently thinking about dealing with. And then we'll look at your overall love life. I'm also going to be extending this reading. So the link to the extended will be in the description box below. Where we'll talk about your general life and your person. So let's see. Sagittarius and the person they're currently dealing with. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Ooh. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups. This is your person's energy towards you or someone's energy towards you, the person you're thinking about. Emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment. This person is quite happy with you, if especially if even if this is someone new, there's a lot of excitement about you, a lot of love. This could be someone from your past with a judgment in reverse. You could be currently single, but feeling like there's unfinished business between you and this person. In December, they're going to be like really wishing for you. So if you're in separation right now, not much to worry about. Just give it time. So the mutual energy, you both, it seems like you both need a break. You're both kind of running from this situation or you're just comfortable taking a break from the situation. But there's a lot of thinking you may be thinking about each other or you may just be thinking in general taking a break thinking about life the near future could be dealing with a libra some of you someone's gonna feel like things were unfair or that they've been unfair towards someone so it could be you feeling like you've been unfair towards them or vice versa them feeling like they've been unfair towards you because I see someone, you know, coming forward because of that. So if they've been unfair towards you, they are definitely feeling guilty. Feeling bad with the Nine of Swords. About their lack of effort with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Especially if you haven't been chasing them, haven't been giving much to them or giving them much energy. They're definitely regretting certain behaviors. So let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius for the month of December. What's coming up for Sagittarius in love for December be a Pisces for some of you there's something you're finding you're finding something out something's coming to light here in December hmm. so I'm seeing that somebody who was once closed off will be trying to make peace with you four of wands as your overall energy I feel like you overall like have stability you feel stable you feel quite happy you're not like it's not the end of the world without this person but you are feeling some emotional instability we have the eight of pentacles and the six of pentacles this is how you're seeing each other so this person they may start to put in efforts they're seeing that there needs to be balance and again it could be vice versa but this person is feeling like you have done a lot for some of you, they could be wondering if you're giving attention to someone else because you're not giving them attention. Um, Knight of Wands, not Wands, Knights of Swords in reverse. And the Lovers could be a Gemini for some of you. Hmm. Some of you could be a third party that's blocking, like you could have someone else or you feel like they might have someone else. Because I see the... Ten of Wands being the outcome. So there could be a third party blocking the situation or a choice. Maybe you haven't chosen between two people yet. Why the Five of Swords in reverse? This 
person wants to make peace. They want to restore the stability between you two. Yeah, they're trying to get over the past or something that caused them emotional pain. And they're trying to have stability. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, please. Yeah, they've made you feel rejected. I feel like you kind of just moved on like you may feel this low key but you definitely are focused and moving forward why the moon in reverse so you may find out that this person isn't what they seem like they may have exaggerated their accomplishments for some of you but i do see that there is some type of, some of you are finding out the reason why things haven't moved forward between you and someone. What are the messages for Sagittarius for December? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And getting to know each other as you reveal your inner selves to each other, your bond deepens, you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Someone you're dating could have kids from a previous relationship. There's, if, if you have more than one person, I see you letting one go in December. Feeling unrequited, like there's just not enough. You may be more into another person. Someone who you're, who the bond is deepening with. Challenges and obstacles. intuition prosperity begins and truth you definitely find out the truth about something i don't feel like it's going to affect you in a major way it's probably going to help you to easily make a decision because i see with the ace of wands i feel like um some like finding something out or some kind of obstacle could kind of push you to make a better decision it's like somebody makes it easy for you to decide. Maybe they do something wrong or something here. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius. There's something that you find to be burdening. Could be financially burdening or just energetically burdening. Yeah, it could be, a, it could be one option of yours. That you find to be burdening and just not serving you. I see you letting that go. What's coming up for Sagittarius in love? If love is a verb. So there could be someone who's kind of showing you through action, making it easier for you to decide who you want to be with. You have don't give up, unexpected, and commitment. So in December, you may be choosing someone. There's somebody here who I see wants a stable relationship with you. This could be someone you had a falling out with. You had some issues with this person. They were not giving you equal effort in the recent past. I see them picking up and realizing that they need to do more in December. So it could be that you're choosing this person because they're finally stepping up if you have more than one person. Definitely what I see. You could have seen them as the Eight of Pentacles. Why the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, you're seeing someone really start to step up and make the effort with you. So you kind of, yeah, you kind of draw nearer to that person. It could be that in the past you were the only one putting in an effort and now they've woken up and realized what they need to do in December. What's the advice for Sagittarius? Put yourself first. Yeah, I feel like that. That in from the beginning, I've been seeing that you are stronger than you think. You give it time and say no. So the fact that you are putting yourself first in December will have this part. It's kind of creating like this shift. It's almost like um, law of attraction manifesting through the quantum field, where you start to 
focus on you and then this person who was once not paying you any mind or not putting in the effort they start to be attracted to you like be pulled towards you to step up it's like when you want something bad it doesn't come but when you turn away from it it comes so i feel like you're gonna be amazed by this person's actions going forward like it's just totally different you don't expect them to step up but they will let's get just some last messages from this deck okay past events affecting current energy someone's fake oh my gosh we've got two fake two of the fake cards same thing different day so it could be that one if you have two options one of them is fake and so you it, you, you realize that with the moon in reverse and it makes it easier for you to choose the other person we have fake it till you make it pretending to be more than they are i did say that with the moon in reverse that they may be, may have exaggerated their accomplishments Keeping up with the Jones is not allowing people beneath the surface. We have and cut. Someone is putting on a show, peep the scene, watch your surroundings, drama king or queen, fake emotions. So if you have two options, one of them is fake, and I feel like that's gonna make it easy for you to let them go and choose the other person who is really stepping up. We have out with the old and in with the new. You're making some kind of shift here, some kind of transformation shift that's causing people around you to act differently particularly this particularly this person okay so sagittarius you could be dealing with a leo gemini pisces aquarius capricorn more gemini energy okay so i hope this was helpful I'm going to extend this reading. So the link will be in the description box below. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.